Hey y'all, it's John at ProCraps here. I'm uh, doing a little late night, late night deep dive here. I've been playing with the strategy all day and I thought I'd roll it out live and just kind of get a little sense of its viability. It's been working well in practice, but I haven't really seen it yet live, live, live. So let's do it here. And um, this is gonna combine a couple of things. One is gonna be this kind of aggressive don't pass thing that I've been working through. And I'll show you how it works with just some green chips. I'll lay them out here for you. Um, we'll just take a, few, a couple hundred bucks, it doesn't matter. And the way that it works is from the don't, whether it's the don't pass or the don't come or the pass line or the come, it doesn't really matter. The pattern that we're gonna follow here is this. We're gonna start out with whatever a unit is. Let's say it's a quarter unit, okay, for argument's sake. It could be 10 bucks, it could be 100, it doesn't matter what it is. We go out with one unit, that's your base bet. If you get a win, you're gonna parlay the win. So you have two bets as your base. If you win the parlay, you win two units. What you do is you increase your base bet by one unit. In this case, we just stay put where we are, okay? Now we have two units out on the felt, and two units in our rack. Let's say that at level two, and I'll mark levels here in my rack, level one, level two, so I know where I am. At level two, a two unit bet, if we win here, again, we're gonna parlay it. So that'll be a four unit bet. And if the parlay wins, what we're gonna do is again, increase our level to level three, which means taking one back, now you're at level three, and this comes into your rack. And from this point forward, you're betting with three units. Again, if this happens to win, it wins three units, we parlay it. If the parlay wins six units, you go to a four unit base bet and collect all of this. So every time you win, you parlay. If you win the parlay, you take your winnings from the parlay and you increase your base bet by one. So what happens is over, over time, your base bet grows from one unit to, to whatever. As you're winning, the more you win, the higher your base bet goes. You never go below your current base. So if we lose here, our next, let's say we lose this, our next bet comes out of our rack and it's that four unit bet. So we stay, we stay at whatever unit we're gonna be at the whole time. Now that works at any base unit. You can have your base be 10 bucks, 25 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever you're comfortable with doing. Doesn't really matter. So um, I'm just gonna run it at a couple levels tonight. I'll probably run this at the green level first. Um, and I think I need 1500 bucks to get through this with, at the green level, we'll see how that's gonna look. Now that's part of it. Part of it is that don't pass thing. And what I'm probably gonna do is just roll that out for just a minute, just to get a sense of, again, live dice, how that works out. But I'm gonna change it pretty quick. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna add some box number play, but not hybrid style. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. Let's let the puck be off. I'm gonna come out, let's take a quarter, or $100, and get four quarters for it. We're just gonna run this quickly with a one unit, don't pass bet with, at the green level. We're just gonna run green level, $1,500 in the bankroll, level one, to see what happens here. And of course, I'm not gonna hedge a thing. I'm not gonna hedge anything, 11s or 7s, whatever else. I'm just gonna run it the way it's gonna happen. We'll see what goes. There's a yo out of the gate. So we're gonna lose here. And again, there's no regression. There's no running from this thing. We're just gonna basically seek out the seven here. So there's gonna be a six, four, 10. That's a leaner on the wall there that leaned in. First one will be 10. Let's see if we can't make this thing pop for us. Here's a four. Two, six, there's the seven. All right, so we got a winner. Wins one unit, we're gonna stack it up. Again, parlay the first one, we're still at level one. Parlay the win. Let's avoid big red on the come out here. We do, it's a nine, cool. It goes to the nine. Just looking for a big red again. We're just gonna play, we're just playing an aggressive don't, increasing our base bet after every parlayed win. Two, three, four in a row, you're gonna be doing all right. Three, one, four. I'm just gonna roll these dice as fast as I can because I wanna get results in, in the books. We win the parlay, okay? We're gonna stay at that base. So we're gonna stay, we're gonna go up to level two. I'll mark it in the rack, level two. Back to the rack we go. And if I put these back up here with the blacks, okay, I'll leave the blacks where they are later. But I'm back at 1,000, 1,400, 1500 bucks. So we're back to even in the rack. That's actually profit out there. And now we're at level two. 
working that thing out. Let's go. Um, we won. Is that our second parlay or our first? That was our first parlay. All right. So we're off. Coming out. If we can catch one here, if we can catch a little string, you'll see how this thing builds up pretty quick. There's an eight for the next point. Yo. Let's see, we've got Jeff and Ciro here. How you doing, guys? Um, hey, there's a seven. Good, we got that. Um, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna win at level two, and again, we parlay the win at the at the level. Now we're off. Again, it's getting scarier. The more higher we go here, the scarier the don't pass gets. Again, I'm not going to hedge just yet. I'm not building any kind of hedging into the strategy. We can do it at some point. During the build phase, I don't do that. I just want to play it out and see how aggressive this thing can, can be, how it withstands it. So here we go. And there is the seven, right? We could have hedged it, could have saved ourselves, but we didn't, and it's good. We'll lose four, which was a parlayed bet. We're still at level two. Next bet out of the gate is going to be a two-unit bet, and it's okay. The parlays will help you catch back up if we catch it in good sequence. Damn it, there's a yo. <clears throat> That's two naturals in a row, which is a bummer, but again, you're going to stay the course. Let the parlays help us out here. There's a 6-4-10. Here we go. Let's find big red, shall we? It's a yo 11. There's a nine, and there's the seven. So again, at level two, we win, we parlay it up. Puck is off, let's not get big red on the come out here if we can do it. Perfect, one, two, three. So we win our parlay at level two, here's what happens. You win four units, our new base bet is gonna be three. One, two, three. Five units comes back, so we got beat twice on the come out. We still are even in the rack, plus a quarter, plus three. So even though we got hammered twice, two naturals in a row, we're actually up 100 bucks here, okay? And now we're at level three. If we win in here, we start seeing the parlays really pay off for us, and this thing can, can catch fire pretty quick. Let's play it just a minute or so, and then I'll add the next piece in. And again, I, I run into this a lot. You'll see what I'm gonna change here in a minute. I've been running into this all day, where this has been crushing me, these, these come out, Naturals, for some reason today, and these red dice have been have been crushing. So <clears throat> let's get past it. There's a, ah, damn it, it's a six. I would like to get a better number than that, but it's all good. Let's beat that with a seven if we can. There's an eight. Just keep saying seven over and over again, nice and loud. There's a three. Ah, there's a six. So we get beat. So now we got beat here at level three twice. Right, the seven beat us in the come out, the six beat us as the point. We're gonna have to dig back into our rack a little bit here and get some more greens out. And now we see if the strategy can recover, which is where it gets interesting. Back to three units we go. Damn it. Come out seven. I'm telling you, these come out sevens are a soul crusher. Um, you're gonna see here in a minute, after the next round or two, I'm going to switch it up and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Um, matter of fact, we can do it now. I can show you the change, and the change is simple, okay? For no other reason than the come out seven sucks, and the seven comes when the seven's going to come. Right? You can't control that, but we're going to do this. We're going to go get a point and then take our three units and come for the don't come. You're still at risk for the seven here, right? But what I find, it, oh my God, of course, on command, it comes. What I've been finding is that coming through this way here, I, I tend to hit this a little bit less at that point, for whatever reason, rhythm is what rhythm is. We would have stayed there. We would have been okay. It's fine. I'd rather have a couple losses and watch the strategy rebuild itself. There's four. I'm going to keep working the don't come side of this thing instead of the don't pass side of it. Just for a few minutes. Because I'm going to, I'm going to work in some place bets here in a minute. I'll show you how that's going to work. There's a four for the point. We're still at level three. Come to the don't. Ugh, it goes to the six, not favorable. There's the eight. Midnight. There's our seven. Seven beats a six every time. 
Again, we're going to get paid three. We're going to prepare to parlay. That's going to be 150 coming out. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to let the point be off. Okay, that's seven out. We get a new point established. There's a yo that we dodge on the come out. I'm telling you, the come outs, for me, it seems like anyway, I, I, I'm getting burned down there so often. That I'm finding they don't come a little more to my liking. So there's that. We're going to go ahead and go out with the 150 now. This is a parlayed three unit bet. So we're at 150. So even though we won it out here, the parlay can't happen until the point's established and when they don't come. So now we're on a parlayed level three bet. Okay. Let's beat Big Red here while we're on the way out, if we can. And of course we don't. My timing tonight is just awful. Wow. I knocked myself off on the worst possible spots every time tonight. There's a nine. Um, and again, we're back now to level three. We're not in the parlay anymore. We lost our parlay, so we're gonna go back to base and work that. We're never gonna pull the parlayed money out of our bank. We're just gonna work base out of there. Um, there's the box cars, and we're back on the eight, which is not the number I wanna be on, but whatever, we'll take it. Oh, dice off the table. That thing rolled like crazy. Here we go. Aces. There's a six. There's the seven. Okay, so again, we're gonna win three. We're gonna bring it back to our rack. We're gonna prepare to parlay that bet. Let's get a number. It's gonna be the eight. And again, we're gonna come out with a 150 DC. And please, Lord, let's get past the DC this time. It's been like three times now we've gotten burned in there. Cool. <laughs> we did it. We go to a five. Yay. All right. Our parlayed level three is on the five. Let that thing roll. Just playing for the seven here. And right away we get it. Five, two, seven. So we win our parlay at level three. Our next bet level would be level four. I want to see what's going to happen here in the rack. Now we've lost a whole mess of times here, kind of in succession. Let's see how the rack is, is treating us. With that one parlayed win, I'm going to get blacks for these greens here, a black for those greens. I'll get a black for now, a black for these four greens here. And we're only down 50 bucks. After all that butt kicking, there's $1,450 in the rack. And now we're at level four. So what happens here, again, we'll get a point. And here comes the acceleration. We're going to be on the 10. Our next stall pass will be 100 because we're at level four. Again, we never go back a level. So now the $100 bet comes out to the nine. We're just playing the nine against the seven. Ah, shit, we got a the number right back. Um, we're gonna go right back into the dump. Again, we're still on the same shooter, right? I'm gonna keep that thing recycling through. That's a three, a one, two, three. <clears throat> so it wins and it gets parlayed right there on the spot. And it goes to the 10. This is why I like the don't come version. We go to the 10, the puck is gonna be off. Now the come out seven is your buddy versus it being your enemy. I like having the come out seven here. For some reason, the seven likes to breathe more here. I'm also not at risk for the 11 here. So I'll take the risk here for the one roll coming through. I think this is a better place to be in the come out phase. Just gotta avoid the 10 now, we're gonna be in good shape. New point will be nine. There's a yo. Another yo. It's almost like I'm sliding them. There's an eight. Come on. Let's win this parlay and move on to the next piece. There it is, five, two, seven. We win our parlay. At level four, we could be at level five here in a second. Let's see where the rack is, okay? There's our 1,500 bucks that we started with, and here's 150 in profit. So we actually got murdered a few times, right? We had a really bad run here on the don't on those naturals. We got picked off up in here um, and in here twice, and we're still up 150 in a short period of time. So I like that part of the strategy. I like coming through the don't. Now, what I wanna do next 
is I want to work into this thing. We'll, we'll, we'll reset ourselves back to, to base here in a second. Take all this away. Um, I'm going to re reset the, the rack. And I want to work in some right side play to this thing. So the right side play is going to be this. It's going to be a, a kind of a tweak on a couple of things. Now, I don't, the level that we bet this at can be anything. So the right side play is going to be, I'm not going to do hybrid, and you'll see what I mean by this. I'm going to do some kind of a one hit and down. Now, here's what I've been playing with. I'll do this right now at the black level. Actually, we'll do it. Let's work it at the green level first. It doesn't, the level doesn't matter. It's whatever you're going at your don't passes. We're going to come out here um, at this level. We'll go, we'll go with 110 inside. Actually, I got to pull from my rack. Let's do it from the rack. And actually, we can do it even easier. I'll just take 100 bucks. And we'll go with flat $100 in. Nice and simple, 100 bucks inside. And what we're going to do here is work these bets only after a seven. So, Waylon, this is going to be kind of your one hit and down thing from the inside. Now, check this out. We're going to let a point come out. Let me need my off and on lammer here. Puck will be off. Let's get a point. It'll be a six. And what I'm going to do with these bets in here, and this is where I'm, I'm not sure of myself yet how to do this. I kind of want to not turn these bets on until I see a seven. This is a little bit of DGE. Like, let's wait for a seven because we know that for two sevens to come back to back, it's a little tougher pull for the dice to do that. So maybe we wait until we see a seven to turn them on, okay? I'm not going to come DC until these bets are on. So we're going to do it all at once. We're going to have one moment of extreme risk to come out with. So either we have a choice. We can either just come right through and play craps here or wait for the seven and do it. I'm going to do it straight craps first, and then I'm going to try another run where I wait for sevens and see if it makes any difference at all. I'm sure it makes no difference at all, but, you know, we like to think. Here we go. We're going to be on here, okay, for one roll. The bets will be on. I'm going to take my hundred and get quarters. Now, out of my rack, I'm at 1,300 in the rack. 1400 and 1500 hours is working my don't right now. Here's the roll where you got to be careful, right? The 0.7 out, they're hot, this is hot, but check how if, if I can get an inside number to hit, you'll see what I'm what I'm trying to do here. There's a nine, six, three, nine. So what's gonna happen is this: we're gonna move our don't come behind the nine. The nine's gonna pay 35 bucks. The bets go off. We collect the green. We reinvest the reds. So the reds are going to go this time on the five and nine. Or maybe we'll put the reds and make the six and eight proper. Right now we're at 110 inside. One hit and off. And now we play for the seven. So this is the same strategy as before. Okay. These bets were never in opposition of one another. They were at risk at the same time for a second for one roll. Inside bets are off. One hit and we pause. We collect a green. Now we're playing for big red. At the black level, same thing. You can collect blacks in here and let that be a black chip too. So let's just go and play for big red against the nine and try and combine both strategies into one. We're not going to care about inside hits. This is a Waylon style one hit and down um, like he was doing yesterday. I think it was yesterday's video. And also today he was showing the world's greatest strategy again with the four and ten. I'm doing it with the insides. One hit and down. Here's the nine. No big deal. We lose this bet here. Um, but we're still on. We're still playing. I'm right back at it. I'm still going to work this thing. Now I'm at risk here for the seven. Now one thing I had thought about doing was honestly every time I'm in the don't, turn the bets on. That's risky. I've been playing around with this. Do they stay off until the puck's off? Or do I try and get a little bit of free duty here when I'm coming out? I think I'm going to do this. Shit, that'll be a yo. That sucks. I don't like giving money back so freely like that. And there's the seven, so everything comes down, which is a bummer. I'm not sure that's the right play. I'm not sure if these should be on every time they're coming out, but I do like coming out to a number and getting paid. So it is what it is. We'll lose all this. And again, we're not playing ever right side, dark side at the same time. It's not a hybrid in that sense. There's no hedging going on. It's right side, then dark side. It's right side, then dark side. It's a, it's a this, then that kind of a thing. Let's come back out again. We're 100 in. That was a big sting. I didn't like losing that bet at all. That was pretty shitty. Um, pucks off. Let's get a number established. Run the nine again. 
don't pass, or don't come rather, everything is on for one roll. Let's avoid it. Friggin' kidding me? A seven? Ugh. Now we're just getting beat up by our dice. We're gonna need that for the don't. I need this for the insides. Hey, they're off. While the puck is off, let's get a new number. Yo. Another nine, wow, the nine. Okay, we're on, we're coming in. Go to the six, all right, so this goes to the six. The six is gonna pay 29 bucks. Okay, we're gonna collect the green, and I can't reinvest this, there's nothing I can put that on, so for the six and eight, the first hit, we're just gonna collect greens. We'll use the five and nine to get those proper. Now we're on the six, playing the seven. So we're right side for one hit, then we go dark side, and here is the five, two, seven. That pays. This is gonna be parlayed in a, the next round through, okay? Puck is off, coming out. There's a three, two, five. That'll be our new point. Now we put our parlayed win, our parlayed don't win into the don't. So two units coming through for one hit. These are gonna be on for one roll. Got to avoid big red here. This is the time I've gotten beat here twice now on big red and the don't come. Let's get one avoidance, get one hit coming through. And there's the six, that's awesome. We got a six, a two, four, six, right? Goes behind, these come down, 29 bucks for 25 bucks. Back to the rack, we collect a green, okay? Now I do have enough money in here with these whites. I can make the six proper. I'll take the six and make it look like 35 or 30 bucks. At least that one will be proper. Um, again, our parlayed bet is now here. The puck is still on the five. Just looking for a big red again and win that parlayed don't. And again, this now is the strategy we played before. We hit a six, so we lose our don't. We're still at level one. We have not won a parlay yet, okay? Here's the question, do we come to the don't again, right? Do we keep working that backside? And I kind of feel like we do. I wanna keep that thing rolling every freaking time we get the seven. Every time I'm in here. Man, oh man, oh man. That's a bummer. And frankly, those would have been on. The way I'm talking about this, they would have been on. So we're just getting our, our butts handed to us, which is good because you gotta see if it can recover, okay? Let's come on back out again. We're still at level one. God, how we had not won one parlay yet, that's insane. Okay, there's our, there's our 100 in. We're down to 1,000. We've actually lost 500 bucks on that freaking seven over there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, point of four. But it's gonna recover. I have, I have all the faith that it's gonna recover just fine. Let's beat it. All right, we're on the point of four. Puck is off. Don't pass on the four. This is, again, I like this part of it, right? We're off with the puck here. Come out seven is gonna be our buddy. If we can sting one, there's a five. Okay, that's there, those are off. Would have been nice to have catch the inside when they, were, when they were coming out of the don't, but again, I'm only one hitting here while I'm coming out of the don't. I'm not gonna sit out here and wait, wait, wait for that hit. We're gonna take one roll and get out. There's our six, there's our nine. Just waiting for old Smokey here. Hard six. Another hard six, no fear of missing out from me. Patience, baby, patience. Six, four, 10. Oh my God, really? A four, I'm just getting, everything I do is getting picked off. Everything we do tonight is getting picked off, that's okay. Tell myself it's gonna be just fine. We're gonna come right back through it, okay? Now I'm in the don't. I'm gonna try this pattern. In the don't, bets are on. There's a midnight. There's a 10. That's twice now out of the don't. We come out and don't hit a damn number. Um, I'm leaving them off while I have a don't come active. Again, it's right side or dark side. I'm not doing the hybrid thing. 
There's a one, two, three, okay. And there's the six, four, ten. <laughs> I love it. Everything is getting hammered here. I can't believe how unlucky I am tonight. This is awesome. All right, we're still on the point of five. And there's the point of five being hit. So on the way out here, we get 35 bucks. I'm gonna take the reds, make those two proper. Rack the green, everything's off. It's gonna come out seven. Or midnight, doesn't matter. There's it, there it is. Come out seven, there's a five, there's a two. Finally, we get one in here. On the next point, we can use that parlay and maybe finally hit this thing twice in a row. Let's see if we can do it. Haven't had one parlay don't since I switched over to the, the, the semi-hybrid play. Point's gonna be eight. They're gonna be on. Parlayed bets coming through. Nine. Sweet. That goes to the nine. Nine's gonna pay 35 bucks. As they get set, we get paid. I'm gonna take the reds to the five and the nine and rack the green, okay? Keep those, those greens are coming. Um, we need to get this parlay hit um, here to get to the next level. We're still at level one. We have not yet completed a parlay. I can't believe we haven't completed a parlay yet. There it is. Finally, six, one, seven. Whew, unreal. All right, there's the completed parlay. We're still gonna be at level two. I'll mark that up over here. And that can come back to the rack. Finally, we got a conversion. It's nice. Everything's off. Bets are pressed up a little bit. There's a three and a two. The point's gonna be five. We're gonna be now at level two. Everything we do out here now is 50 bucks. Hopefully we can get a little bit of recovery action coming up. There's a five. So on the way out, what happens is this. This travels to the five. Puck goes off. That pays 25, 40, two bucks. I'm gonna rack the green like always. We're gonna reinvest what we can out here. I'm gonna take those two and get the six and eight up to 36. And I'll press myself by one red unit. Again, racking the green, reinvesting all the change out here. Puck is off, we're on a no five. Let's get big red. There it is, four, three, seven. We hit. We come back to the rack. We're still at level two, but we're gonna parlay to 100 on our next DC bet. Puck is still off. Point's gonna be a six. These are gonna be on while we're coming out. Now here's again, the big risk, right? The big one roll ugly is right now, 100 in the don't. And I've got 110, I got about 130 or so out there on the field, out in the felt. This is a big risk right here, right? This is the one roll that we get smoked on all the time. Crap. It goes to the four. I would have loved for it to have hit a number there, but now that I've got an active don't, the place bets go off. Okay, we're just gonna let these things only run when I'm in the DC, that's it. That's a one roll kind of a thing. Let's hit this parlay, shall we? Six, three, nine, doesn't matter. Four, three, seven, we hit it. All right, that's awesome. There's a hundred bucks there. I'm actually gonna pay it like this with two blacks and bring these greens back to the bank. Okay, we go back into our rack just to give you a sense of where things are. There's a thousand, there's 1100. I'm gonna color up these greens real quick. There's 1200 in the rack. I've got 1300 with what's out here. I've got well, 1275 in the rack and another whatever, 180 out here on the, or 150 on the, on the felt. We're basically even. We're within 50 bucks of being even, even after getting whacked all those damn times. This is a pretty resilient strategy if you can catch a couple in a row. Um, we're at level three now, by the way, because we hit that parlay, we're at level three. Point's gonna be a 10. And once again, we're gonna come out. Um, now we're at level three, so I need to get some change. Three units into the dump. That's our new base is three units every time now, 75 bucks. If we get the parlays in here, we're gonna be in great shape. There's a one, two, three. So again, 75 bucks. 
That's an instant parlay. Boom. Now you're at one and a half coming through the don't come. Oh, you son of a bitch. We got the freaking seven. We were doing so good there. We were doing so good. Um, but we end up tanking the whole freaking thing. That sucks. That was really close to being right where I wanted to be. Um, if that one gets out, if that 150 gets out to one of these inside numbers here, we're getting paid about 40 bucks from an inside number, and we've got 150. That would have been a really sweet deal, but you can't beat it every time, unfortunately. So here we go again. Um, we recovered a little bit, not perfectly. It's got our 100 in set up. Get off with the puck. I'm still level three, so I'm gonna get some greens. And we're gonna work it. New point. Can I come back and make money? That's the question, right? Can I come back from being down 500 bucks and make some money? Three in the don't. Everything is on. One roll. Beat the seven once. Okay, there it is. There's a one, two, three. 75 hour parlay. Ooh, yeah. Aces. We hit the parlay. So that's awesome. That's going to come out. And we have 150 on it. Okay. 150 getting paid. I'm going to bring all that back. Now, our new level, we hit our parlay. Our new level is going to be four. So that means 100 bucks now is our next DC bet. And we're still waiting to get out to a number here. Meanwhile, I'm bringing back two black chips to the rack. And just like that, we're at 1,200 here, 1,300 here, 1,400 with this. We're $100 down. After getting my ass thumped so many times, we're still doing all right. There we go. We go to the six. Beautiful. Don't come goes behind the six. The six gets paid on the way out. We'll do uh, 30 for one. We'll make it look right. We'll rack the green. And we're going off. Again, This at this level, I'm just looking to rack green chips. ATM machine all day long in here. They're off while this is on. That's it. We're just playing against the, playing for the seven. Here's a nine. Ah, we didn't get it. There's a six. It's all good. We lose the hundred. And as per what we're doing, we're coming back out of the DC at level four. I'll turn them on while I'm coming out. And we get the seven. I, I could have wrote, I could have wrote that down ahead of time and said, we're going to get a seven on the way out. And we did. What I've got out here, by the way, is, is 100 in and 100 here. I'm just going to replace the 100 for the inside bets right to the bank. We're still at 1,000 down. We're still at level four. Puck is I'm telling you what, man, I'm getting creamed coming out. It makes me think I want to start doing some of this lay bet action up here. We may need to think about laying our way out of the don't. Here we are on. I should have been keeping track. I think I've gotten beat in the don't come probably five times where we've lost all of this plus that at least five times. At least. It's a, it's a rough go. And there's a hard four. That's good. This goes to the four. These get turned off. We didn't get one on the way out. Um, that's tough, tough toenails, I guess. We're going to live with that. We're going to fight the seven by itself. I'm not going to fight both. I want to walk out of here with, I'd rather lose the hundred than, than win nothing. Nine. There's the seven. So that wins. And again, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get make these look a little neater. There's four there. We're going to parlay that next time through. Pucks off, coming out. One, two, three. Back on the four. Okay, back on the four. Again, these are going to be on for one roll. That parlay don't come, comes through again. Now, right now, we've got 300 at risk. If you wanted to be froggy about it and throw 600 up here on the 10 or something, be my guest. I'm going to let it just get its ass kicked. If it gets its ass kicked, fine. I'd rather know that I'm in trouble with this thing then fight it too hard, too early. And again, my God, look at that. Another freaking seven. Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding me? There's the hundred dollars for those bets out there. I'm just getting torched over here. I can't believe how bad I'm getting torched out of the don't. That's unbelievable. There's your come out seven. See that one roll later? We would have had that parlay hit. Dang it. Another seven. Two sevens in, actually three sevens in a row from the don't and those two come out sevens just now. That's three in a row. If we're playing the don't pass version of this, right? You're getting creamed right now. I like this version better than this version. I'm just not rolling anything helpful here. There's an eight. Okay, we got to work. We're at level four. We're down to the, to the skinnies here in our rack. Everything's on while I'm working my way out. And there's a yo, which again, steals me. There's a seven. Are you kidding? All right. Well, I guess that's what's happening. That's got to be three sevens, the eight, a seven, and an 11 in the last six rolls. Wow. That pays for these. We're off. Goodness gracious. One, two, three. Seven again. We are creaming the seven right now. Good Lord. As an 11, another natural on the come out. Two naturals in a row. That's got to be seven or eight naturals between the two. One, two, three. It's time to change my dice. There's a six. All right, we're on the point of six. They're on. Out we come. We have work to do here, my friends. One, two, three, ace, deuce. Paid and parlayed. One, two, three. Parlay wins. So I'm going to bring the whole thing back. Parlay wins. We're going to go to level five, which means 125 is our next DC bet. Bring it back three to here. So we're still down by quite a bit. Let's beat it. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm telling you what, I can't do it. I can't do it. Hundred dollars there. There's the hundred. Wow, wow, wow. How many sevens can one person roll in one night? Can you believe me? My goodness, here we go. Let's get it going. I'm gonna fight this thing all the way through. Um, another natural. Oh, you know what? We're switching dice. Um, not, not that it matters, but in the last 10 rolls or 15 rolls, there's got to have been seven or eight sevens and two or three elevens in the last dozen rolls or so. It's been crazy town. Um, things got to switch up. There's a five. So we're still at level five, right? That doesn't change. We're going to be at one and a quarter. So we're going to either recover quickly or we're going to get burned really quickly here. What's going to happen? That one and a quarter goes to the 10. These didn't get hit, so they get turned off. Again, it's either this or that. I'm not doing both at the same time. There's my seven. So we're going to parlay this the next time through. It's going to win one and a quarter. Our next bet in the DC is going to be 250. And if we can make it work, we'll start recovering our bankroll quickly enough. There's a one, two, three on the way out. There's a yo on the way out. There's a nine. Okay, our first point in this series will be a nine. There we go. Here's the huge DC. This is a parlayed level five bet coming out. Now again, you know, you might want to think about doing a lay. I don't know. I'm gonna just, again, we're gonna let ourselves get whacked. If we get whacked, we get whacked, right? Heart eight. That's better than getting whacked, but I don't love being on the eight so much. Um, the eight's gonna pay uh, 30 for one. We'll make it proper and we'll collect a quarter. These bets down here have done absolutely nothing. We've been so burned over here, I haven't collected on a bet on the inside in like 20 minutes. Um, normally when I play this, um, these will go six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Quarter, 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 or hundred, hundred, hundred as I'm working this backside. This has been like phew, taking a needle to the eye. 415. There's a 426. We're getting closer to the 8. There's a 10. That rolled. That was a 10. Oh, yeah. I love it. There's a 7, a 527. So we're going to get paid 250 
on that parlay. That moves us to level six, so it's 150 as, as, as the new base don't, don't come back. And let's bring these back into the rack and get ourselves reset. There is, now we're at 900 in the rack. Actually with these here, we're at 1,000 in the rack. So we were down to like 400 bucks. We're, we've earned back 600 in just a few minutes there, which is cool. Um, pucks off, coming out, new point, nine. New point is nine. That'll be on. And again, we're at level six, so we're at 100 and a half coming through. And again, the parlay here starts paying you big time. Just gotta avoid Mr. Scary here for one roll. Oh, well, shit, we're on the six. I don't like being on the six if I don't have to. It gets paid again. 30 for one, because we're at $25 base. It's proper. Bets are back. These are off. Just give me big red. Give me some big red and we'll call it a day here, huh? There it is. Oof. Love beating this. I love beating the 68. Nothing better than beating the 68 when you're on the red, is there? Wow. All right, 150 pays 150. We're gonna go to level seven on these on this bet down here. Level seven looks like 175 coming through. Okay, on the next bet, which means I'm racking another black and another green over here, and we're almost. We're almost home. We're almost home. I'm loving that. All right, here we go. Five, one, six again, the new point. Um, actually, yeah, that was a seven, new point to six. I wasn't keeping track. There we go. Puck's on. Here we go. These feel like peanuts now, right? We're up at 175 here. These feel like, like we're wasting our time. Um, you'll see, I'll do this again later on at a higher level. When I start these out, when I start this out at 550 on the inside, every time you're collecting, it's a black, it's a black, it's a black, and it accelerates a little quicker than it's doing right now. We just got the don't pass up so high because we never collected in here. Let's, let's get something established here, shall we? 549, all right? So this is gonna move into the nine. We have 175 against the nine. The nine on the way in drops 30 bucks. We're gonna get the five and nine up to 30. Collect that green. Turn them off. Playing for big red. Six five, yo. Oof, six four ten. I thought that was gonna be a nine. Five three eight. Come on. Five two seven. Yes. Okay. One seventy five pays. One seventy five. Or if you prefer. Looks like 350 coming back to the rack. Now, where's the rack stand? Have we recovered? Mostly. There is, if I make these look like black chips. Okay. We are right now at 1400 in the rack. There's 120 out here. We're in, we have $20 in profit. We were down to 300 bucks. We battled back by getting those parlays with the with the higher levels. I think that the trick here is this. It's the don't pass, don't come progression that's making the whole thing work. We're getting nothing out of here at all. This is a waste of time at this level. If we did it like this, let's take these back. I'll, I'll take the 120 back to the rack and we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna take the 20 here, we'll put the 100 here, and we're back to where we started. Now, if I go ahead and get ballsy with it, and we go 100 like this, and we go 150 on the six and eight, now it changes the game a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna be playing for keeps out here, and we'll start back up again at level one on the don't, okay? We'll restart the whole thing. I'll put that away. There's 500 out here. I'm about to come out with a level one don't and restart the entire rack, okay? We've recovered back from 300 bucks with nothing out here, okay? Let's do it again at a higher level. Let's get a new point, four. Let's come out here. Now again, here is where I am nervous as all hell, right? We're on for one roll. I got 500, 600 bucks at risk. I have no way to lay that. I've only got 800 bucks in the rack. If I had more bankroll, obviously we, we could lay. This is where at this level, you might wanna go out here and lay the nine for 900 bucks. Okay, or something like, or, or lay the 10 for a thousand or something um, at this level. But if we can avoid the seven right now, 
which we did. There's a 516. Check out what happens here. This goes behind the six. The six pays 175, right? You're racking a black right out of the gate, and you're going to 125 on the five and nine and racking maybe another quarter. Take this quarter back here. And we've brought back 125 on the first hit. We're on the six, no six with 100 bucks. We're in great shape, right? That's a killer system when you're at the black level. I don't think $1,500 is enough to make it work. There's the point being hit. Now we have, we're not playing against the six, right? We're playing against the seven now. We're just looking for a come out seven. Let's do it. Yeah, look at that, four, three, seven. Love it. That hits, that comes back to the rack. If you wanna keep score, there's 500 here. There is 1,100 there, 1,200 here. There's 1,200 and 500 at 1,700 bucks. We're already up 200 at this point. Uh, actually, we're up more than that. We're up two, 300, because I have, have extra caps. We're up 300 bucks. Love it. Um, but because that one, we're still level one, we're about to parlay ourselves into, an, into something new. 639, it's coming out. Our parlayed don't is coming through here. It goes right to the nine. That's interesting, right? It goes right to the nine. Nine gets paid, so it's, it's got 125 on the nine. It also pays 175, okay? They'll be off now moving forward, but we're gonna rack that black chip like we did before. And I'm gonna take those, um, let's take these insides here. If I give them both, let's see. I'll take this and get reds for it. Let's make the insides both look like 180. Okay, 600, 180, we'll take 15 bucks back to the house. Let those still be 175. Everything's off, of course the puck's off. We have a great parlay bet out here on the nine. Let's get a come out seven or a four, that'll work too. Okay, they're still off. We have a don't, an active don't pass, the front bets are off. They're only working when I'm in the DC. Five. Ooh, back to back fives. There's an eight. Damn, there's the nine. Ah, it sucks. We didn't hit our parlay. Bummer. But opportunity. Right? We're still on a point. We're coming to the don't. These will be on. While that's coming out, they're on. That's our that's our one chance to make extra cash here, right? It's the one hit and down syndrome. Ah, shoot. Six five yo. Replace that. Come on, give me an inside. I'll take that. Four one five. Go to the five, and again we're going to collect one seventy five. Let's get the five and nine both up to one fifty. Turn them off. Now we're playing for the five. And we're gonna bring back, again, a black chip. Every time you're bringing back a black chip when you get an insider. There's a four, that's your point. Looking for a come out seven. It's an eight, does not matter to us though. Nine. Seven. Cool, we got our seven. That pays 100 back here. That's gonna be our parlay bet. We're still level one. We haven't hit a parlay. If we hit a parlay, we're gonna be in River City here. Come out six. New point's gonna be six. Bets are on. We're coming through for one time with a parlay bet. Please, 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 let's avoid Mr. Scary. We didn't. Fuck. Ah, uh, 617. Damn it. Playing with fire, you're gonna get burned, I guess, right? Um, before I take this down, which really blows, let's see where we were. I wanna see. Because I was thinking, coming out here, the next hit we get on this one, we're going to be done. Let's see where we would have been had that roll right there not just happened. I want to see how the rack would have would have looked. I'm going to color all this out here up, even though it's meaningless. Let's see, there's 200 there. Okay, so had we brought that back, had we gotten one more hit out here, the rack would have been here. There would have been our 1500 that we started with. What we've got out here left, another green chip there. 
another black chip here is for we had 425 hours in profit to that point which is good right we weren't out there very long at the 100 hour level had four and a quarter in profit and a nice fatty coming through right that fat one comes through we hit it that's another 400 bucks coming out right we, we were this roll here away from being up 800 when you think about it um one roll one roll off the rhythm but we did pretty good i like this i don't know if i like how often i'm not playing them so i haven't looked at chat at all you guys are probably making a bunch of fun of me um but that's where i'm going right that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking here um all right so uh let's see There's, oh dge is here holy crap look at that dge i'm building a strategy i'm, I'm i've i've started with this today um actually so um uh, let's see, I started telling me to regress. My luck was running out. Ha ha, wait, that's funny. Um, what I'm trying to do here is this, though. So think about this, right? Here's where I want to be. I want to be on blacks all day long. I'm going to get it reset so you can see. Where, and so, just so that DG can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> We're going to be here. We're going to be at 500 on the inside to start. Okay? They're off with the puck. And the second part of the strategy is the don't pass parlay. So the don't pass parlay works like this. If we're on the black level, I'll do it down here so you can see it better, right? One black, you win it. Let me get some more blacks. We win it, you parlay. You win the parlay, your new base bet is two. So that goes to your rack. You win at that level, you parlay that. When that wins, your next bet is at three units and you've got six in your rack. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say, Win, parlay, increase the base. Win, parlay, increase the base over and over and over. This thing here banks money on the sevens. But while I'm doing that, I'm doing it for the don't come instead of the don't pass. I want to avoid multiple come out sevens. I'll take one at a time over here. While I'm coming out though, and only when I'm in the DC, only when I'm here, are these bets on. They're on right now. So when I come to a number, I get paid. They go off, now I'm playing the seven. So I'm playing either the seven or I'm playing these. I'm never playing both at the same time. And that's it. I could leave them on for the come out rolls. There's lots of options in here for when to play these bets. My gut is telling me to leave them off until I see a seven and then flip them on for one roll, right back off again, and let this thing kind of do its own thing. So I'm thinking about changing the rhythm and tomorrow's morning show, I'm gonna run this same strategy again and I'm going to 100% explore only doing these after a seven and only doing this um, after I get knocked off. And we'll see. So that's what, I'm, that's what I'm, I'm trying to get a black chip on every single roll of the dice. That's what I'm doing. A black chip on every roll, seeking it out, baby. That's what we're looking for. So um, yeah, you're right. Well, I think three, three K is what I need at least three to do this. Um, I started doing this earlier today with um, 500 bucks at the $10 level. And it works great. I can win 100 or 250 almost every single time. Um, I go to a thousand bucks at the quarter level. It seems to be about the right number. Um, I think at the black, you need three to five to make it work, but it can work, man. This thing you saw earlier recovered from being, I went from 1500 down to 300 and worked all the way back to 200 in profit. So it totally works. This thing can work. Um, it's just about when do I when do I take the risk on the don't? That's what I'm trying to figure out. So I'm gonna go back over here so you guys can see my mug um, if you want to. Anyway, um, it's it, we gotta go. We gotta figure out at what point do we turn the bets on or off? That's the thing. When do I think it's the, it's about the rhythm of that thing. So I'm playing with it. Um, DG, while you're here, if you're still if you're still here with me, um, question for you is this. Um, well, we haven't talked in a while, dude. So I'm just going to talk to you directly. Everybody else can listen for a second. Um, I want you on the morning show. We have, you know, we do our morning show every day at eight o'clock. I'd love to have you on for like a week straight. And let's just do shit together for a whole week for like an hour a day. And just have the John and Charlie show and um, just go after it a little bit. I think it'd be kind of fun. So um, if you're into it, let's do it. Um, anyway, that's the idea here. Um, I don't know what to call this strategy. It's got no name. Literally thought of it the other day when I was working the don't pass piece and I thought, I gotta find a way to get some, some box action safely. And then I watched Waylon's, you know, his one hit and turn off. And then I saw your thing today where you're doing the, the, the four and 10 one hit and turn off. I'm like, there's gotta be a way to work that in while I'm coming through the don't. And I think the rhythm isn't quite there yet, but I think coming through the don't, getting paid while that DC gets set 
and then turning them off and let the DC kind of be the master. I think there's something to that, but I don't think I have the rhythm down just yet. I don't think I also know yet how I want to do hedging, if at all. When you get into like a 300 hour DC, you know, and you got 500 hours out there, so it's like 550 across or 550 inside with a 300 hour DC for one roll, that's a little bit pucker time. We got to think about it. So, um, anyway, um, let's, uh, let's, let's, oh, good, DJ, you're in. That, that's great. Let's, um, oh my God, that, that's, that's a little more important than what I'm doing here. Um, but let's, let, let's chat at some point here and we'll, and we'll get it put together. Um, all right, let's um, start low and resolve the bets. Lose high. Yeah, you know what? I have thought about doing it reverse too. There's lots of ways to go after this thing, um, actually. And yeah, I, <laughs> I've actually thought about doing that inside as a tiered regression, like, like starting at 550 and going 550, 440, 330, 110 and out. And, you know, bring, and then going back out again, right? Um, as a way to kind of um, decrease my risk as I go. So I'm bringing back 100 plus a level, bring back 100 plus a level as I'm working the DC. So um, I think it's okay. I think we can, we can totally do this. Um, anyway, that's my first, my first try with it live. So I've been working it all day. I wanted to show you all as I did it, as I'm thinking about it. So more to come. Um, again, tomorrow's morning show, by the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the notion of, uh, I, don't, I hate to call it gambler's fallacy, but we're going to look at this idea of, I want to explore that DC bet and say, when do I, when is the safest time to turn those bets on, right? Do I wait for two sevens before I ever turn them on? Or is it just point gets set, turn them on and hope for the best? Really rolling the dice there, literally, um, to figure that out. So anyway, that's tomorrow's show. We're, we're gonna look at both options and see how that works out. So sweet guys, uh, thanks for being here. Um, it's like 11.30 my time. So for Waylon, I know, and Charlie, you guys are on the East Coast. So it's got like one, two in the morning. So. So there it is. Um, all right, that's it. I'm off to bed. Uh, I got to get up at five o'clock for a for a call with Spain tomorrow morning before our morning show. So I'm off. Uh, thanks all for watching. Appreciate your time. Let me uh, kind of spout off and play around with this thing. And um, more to come. We're gonna keep building it out. This is my new. This is my new. Um, my new brainchild. So we're gonna we're gonna hit it out together. So that's it. See you all in the morning. Thanks again, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.